What can you tell us about the Washington Commanders? All right, Phil, within the last hour, the Washington Commanders co-owners, Dan and Tanya Snyder, announced that they have an agreement in place officially to sell the franchise to Josh Harris, the owner of the 76ers, the Devils, and his group. They are awaiting further word from the NFL on the approval process, but there is now officially an agreement in place between the two sides. And shortly after that agreement was announced, Dan and Tanya Snyder released a statement saying that they're looking forward to this process being completed and to the franchise moving on to Josh Harris and his group. And the Snyder said in that statement that they essentially look forward to the prompt completion of this transaction and to rooting for Josh and the team in the coming years. Now, we haven't heard very much from the Snyders at all. So this really is the first public statement about the fact that they are moving on, which will make the people in that area very happy. The people who have rooted for that team for decades, who have struggled through that, it's been hard for them to root for that team at times. Essentially, the Snyders now will be a part of the fans rooting for the Commanders, which is just the way the fans there in Washington wanted it. But it is set to move forward and it is tracking for Josh Harris and his partners to complete this purchase. I should say this also, the other bidder in this process, Steve Apostolopoulos, he spoke to Dan Snyder earlier this week, made a final bid, and clearly Dan Snyder recognized that his best opportunity right now is to move ahead with Josh Harris and his group instead. Thus, the release of that statement today. Now they await approval from the NFL, its finance committee. They will have to go through Josh Harris's finances, but if and when this ultimately does get approved, it will mark the change of a huge new chapter in Washington. The commanders will change hands of ownership, yeah. and that is a day that will be greeted with applause <laughs> around that region. That's well said, Shefty. And what is your reaction to this news, Key? Because as Adam alluded to, this has been a long time coming, and a lot of people are celebrating today. You don't often see that when a team changes hands at the ownership level. Well, it's, it's about time, right, that we have got the official word from the owner, Daniel Snyder, and his, his wife. It's, it's about time. We knew a month or so ago that this was going down with approval from the NFL. Now you get the word from Daniel Snyder that Josh Harrison Company is going to eventually take this team over. Now, the one thing that I'm happy about is that you have a minority partner as part of this group in Magic Johnson, a guy who understands business, who understands sports, part owner of the Lakers once upon a time, part owner of the Los Angeles Dodgers right now, the Sparks in the WNBA. He's not coming in on the back end. He came in on the front end of ownership as a minority piece. I, I just like it all the way around. It removes this dark cloud going back, way back, yeah. in the history of the Washington Redskins, so to speak, way back when Preston Marshall III was the owner. Now you fast forward all the way to all the ugliness under Daniel Snyder's regime, and now you finally feel like it's going in the right direction with Josh Harris and company. I'm excited for it. I really am. I'm not a, I'm not a Commander fan, but I'm excited for what's to come of this new uh, chapter in this organization. Yeah, Key, you talk about that dark cloud that's been removed from the team. It's going to make things so much easier for everyone who used to be a fan of the Commanders to come back and be a fan again. And it's also going to lift a large burden off the region and the team itself. Those players in that locker room, all they've heard about for the past seven, eight years is Dan Snyder this, Dan Snyder that. What are we going to do about this? What are we going to do about that? Now they don't have to live through that every single day. Everyone can move forward, put this behind them, and you're going to have, like I said before, a team that was once the cr uh, crown jewel of the NFL, it is no longer in that place. Josh Harris gets to come in with all of his limited partners, and they get to raise their Washington Commanders back from the depths of the NFL basement. And I'm very excited for that for the fans and excited to have an NFL home again. And think about this, right? There's a generation of fans who grew up in New England thinking that championships and playoff games were their birthright. Just equally, there is a generation of fans who have grown up in Washington not knowing what it's like to get to the playoffs, not knowing what it's like to celebrate a championship, watching a team that under the ownership of Dan Snyder had more name changes than playoff victories. Yeah. This has been an unstable, chaotic, 
franchise surrounded, mired in controversy. This will lift that cloud. This will begin a new chapter, and this will be celebrated literally around that city of Washington by people who have grown so weary and beleaguered watching and trying to root for the Commanders franchise. Uh, Key mentioned that Magic Johnson is a part of this ownership group, and he took to Twitter just moments ago and said, quote, I could not be more excited to be a partner in the new proposed, the proposed new ownership group for the Washington Commanders. Josh Harris has assembled an amazing group who share a commitment to not only doing great things on the field, but to making a real impact in the DMV community. I'm so excited to get to work on executing our vision for the Commanders and our loyal fan base. It should be noted too, by the way, it's not just sort of the general tenor that will follow this ownership change. This organization needs a bunch of investments in things like potentially a new stadium, practice facility upgrades. They're living in the 20th century right now, especially when you see some of the setup around the NFL. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.